my name is Maya, I'm a zookeeper at the Freshman Chappie Zoo, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about sloths. This is Oliver, he's the Linnaeus' two-toed sloth. So if you look at these toes right in front, those are two toes in the front. On the back, he does have those three toes. All sloths have three toes in the back, three toed sloths have three toes in the front and the back. Sloths are known for being very slow. They do everything really slowly, especially metabolizing. So sloths eat very nutrient-poor diets in the wild. They eat leaves that have very little nutrition in them, and they spend a lot of their energy just digesting those leaves and allowing that, those leaves to turn into energy that they can use to move around. Because there's so little nutrients in those leaves, they don't end up moving around very much. But that's also an adaptation that helps them to survive because they will stay in one place and blend into their environment and not be as susceptible as some other animals to predation. You can see that Oliver is getting some of his favorite foods right now. Here at the zoo, we feed him a variety of fruits and vegetables. We also feed him hard-boiled eggs. Now, a lot of people find that a little bit unusual. Many animals in their natural habitat may not be predators or seek out protein sources from other animals, but they will eat them if they come across them. So swamps in the wild, if they are hanging out in their tree and they find a bird nest, will absolutely go ahead and eat those eggs. So some common questions that we get about swamps. A lot of people want to know if they sleep a lot. Well, it depends on what you call a lot. Oliver here at the zoo does spend most of his day sleeping. At night, however, he's much more active. We have set up cameras so that we can monitor our animals' behavior overnight, and we do know that they spend much more time moving around when the zoo is closed and it is dark out. In their natural habitat, um, relatively little is known about sloth sleeping behavior. That's because they live in hard to reach places high up in trees, and they're relatively hard to find and research. It is suspected that they may be more active in their natural habitat than they are in a 